That's funny. What, dear? Well, Gretchen's up already. She's made a bed, too. Oh, must be feeling at home. Like a boy the billy? Yeah, I've been up since five. I didn't hear her get up. The billy, dear. Oh, not again. I'd love to see the look on her face when she finds these. <laughs> I'd love to see the look on her face too. Herbert. See everything. Everything. Hang on. Watch me at the station in one hour. Thanks, Principal. Uh, just a minute, you're not off the hook yet. Get back to the shop, they're gone. After you, Mrs. Elliot. After you, Mr. Mitchell. That is... Might be a moment. Give these to Ronnie. And, um... Say I'm sorry. Thanks, Mike. Do you really think it's from another planet? I don't know, and I don't want to find it. afraid of you. Do you want us to find the missing pack? Shall I go meet them? Uh, she went out early. She's round somewhere, though. You two had breakfast? Yes, thanks. Just as well. The power's gone again. It was up there. Why? What have you done? Where's the daisy rod? It's in the shelter. In the shelter? But I locked it. You'd better see for yourself. But you put it back together. You promise. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. What happened? See for yourself. Kolob. He's a space probe from Sirius B in the constellation of Canis Major. The dog star.
You'll be all right. Just keep out of Matoi's way for a couple of years. There. There. Do I still get my option fee? Vic will have to endorse this. But he'll do as he told us. I'm sure he will. Found her again. Let's go into town and see what's happening. I'll wait till Ronnie comes home. Matoi, keep your eyes open.
The Dogon legend said three teachers came from the sky to help man. I suppose they thought they were gods. The other two must have gone back to Sirius B. So why didn't they come looking for this one? They probably don't know he's functioning. What up? Look, I'll show you something. Kolob, the ninth of the planet, the one you saw entering our solar system. Pluto. Nobody's ever seen it before. So? Kolob can unlock the secrets of the universe. Surely that's worth losing some. What? Put new batteries in this torch this morning. So? The power cuts. He's causing them. We are you sure. He is. He must be. But how? Freak magnetic field. And what's that? No, listen, the whole town's. Hello. Hello. Mrs. Fraser. Sorry about the deep freeze. Just keep the lid on. Thank you, Constable. The power cut? Yeah, real doozy. Everything. Yeah, I thought you might need a hand. Yeah, thanks, mate. I've told everyone to sit tight. It's supposed to be temporary. Uh, Matewi, I was wrong about your nephew. We caught Mitch and his brother at the survey area, red-handed. They were trying to discredit the opposition, force a sale through that way. Well, you'll be pleased when I tell him. I'd like to apologise personally. Can I throw the book at Mitch? I'd like to throw the whole library at him. <laughs> but we're having a few problems. I think Mrs. Elliot's working out a deal. She may not be pressing charges. Thanks. the juice out of the batteries. You must be getting it somewhere. This cable must be part of the civil defence setup. Goes right past them. Putting them nails like plugging them in. We didn't know. We do now. Look, Gretchen, we have to work out what to do with it. Not it. Kolob. He's ours. We shouldn't even be here. I suppose you like to throw him back in the swamp. I want us to think it over. Carefully. He can tell us about the stars. And the past. Don't you want to learn? Yes, but I'm not talking about in front of him. Mitchell signed an option in return for my not prosecuting. So you've got what you wanted? Yes, I have. You'll be glad to know I'm not staying in this town a day longer. Mrs. Elliot, I know why the swamp is stopping. And I think it's got something to do with all these power cuts. More legends? These legends are a warning. Caleb needs power. He's just protecting himself. He doesn't need protecting. We do. Caleb, do you understand what I'm saying? Understand. Caleb need power. People need the power too. If 
If he keeps on taking power at this rate, the whole of New Zealand will black out. People will get killed. He couldn't hurt people. His programming won't let him. How do you know? I just do. <laughs> Look. What's wrong with them? Come on. The town. The car's still here. Mr. Kearney! And Kathleen! Kerlob's done something. Where are you going? Into town. I want to see how far this power cut's gone. We're coming with you. I'll stay here. We won't be long. Still pedal, can't you? Well, come on. I'm coming back now. You can talk to me. Even by the speed of light, a radio message would take about eight years to reach Sirius. What's the matter with them? There's something very wrong. Over there. I know what Kolob's done. 